Hello everyone. Thank you for attending our presentation on a low resolution ADC proof of concept development for a fully digital millimeter wave joint communication and radar. I am Preeti Kumari, a PhD student from the University of Texas at Austin. The other authors of this paper are Professor Amin Mezgani and Professor Robert Heath. This slide presents the milestone for millimeter wave systems such as radar and communication in civilian applications. Millimeter wave radars have been widely used for automotive applications. Recently, they have been also deployed in mobile handsets for gesture recognition. Millimeter wave systems have also been used for communications, such as in the wireless HD and Wi-Fi devices. They have also been recently deployed in the 5G cellular network. To enable hardware and spectrum reuse, millimeter wave Wi-Fi systems have been used for automotive and indoor ranging applications. Millimeter wave Wi-Fi standard, however, supports analog beam forming that limits the performance and design flexibility in terms of waveform and beam forming techniques. Therefore, a fully digital joint communication radar is a solution to meet the demanding requirements of the next generation connected vehicles and devices. The use of high speed, high resolution ADCs in these systems will however result in huge power consumption and high hardware complexity. Therefore, a low quantized, low resolution quantized receiver will enable a practical, fully digital millimeter wave joint communication and radar. Now we will look at the related low resolution ADCs work. There is some work in communications with low resolution ADCs that employ MIMO mode and use high speed ADCs. They, however, do not consider full duplex operation. There is limited work in radars with one bit ADCs. They use, however, low ADC sampling frequency and only consider SISO setup. Recently, we have proposed joint communication radar with one bit ADCs and use the kramer rao bound to show that one bit ADC performs close to the infinite bit ADC. However, currently there is no available fully digital MIMO joint communication radar prototype with high speed, low resolution ADCs. In this paper, we develop a proof of concept for a fully digital wide bank joint communication radar system with high speed, low resolution ADCs using real channel measurements at 73 gigahertz band. First, we collect millimeter wave experimental data using MIMO joint communication radar test bed with high speed, high resolution ADCs. This test bed is described in our EU CAP paper. Then we use emulations on the collected data for performance evaluation of low resolution joint communication and radar. Second, we estimate radar using the generalized approximate message passing algorithm and compare radar channel estimates using high and low resolution ADCs per RF chain. Okay, so let's look at the system model. Here, we consider a receive antenna array with low resolution ADCs. We assume there are M such digital receive antennas, chains, RF chains. The transmitter uh, and receiver operates in full duplex mode. So the transmitter communicates to the destination receiver and whatever reflects back is used for radar receiver to estimate ranging and direction of the scatterers present in the environment. We use single carrier joint communication radar waveform with training sequences for radar and communication channel estimation. The receive model here do not include all the hardware impairments that we will see in the proof of concept development. However, we use this to develop the DSP algorithms. The X here denotes the channel coefficient for LM range cells, range angle cells, where L is the number of range bins and M is the angle, uh, number of angle bins. Uh, G is the circle and shift matrix of the training sequence that depends on a uh, range bin, a number of range bins and the length of the training sequence. And F is the DFT matrix, which converts the antenna space to the beam space. Q is the quantization function, which depends on the 
resolution of the ADC. And y is the quantized output that we will use to estimate x. Now we'll talk about a low complexity proof of concept joint communication hardware and software platform. So first we develop the SISO millimeter wave joint communication radar testbed by extending the communication testbed developed by National Instruments uh, for cellular experimental uh, purpose. So this you can see contains two chases, okay? First chases is for the source unit, which has a transmitter that can uh, be used for both communication and radar purposes and has a radar receiver. And then the second chases consist of the communication receiver. Uh, the first chases, as you can see, has baseband FPGA, which is fully digital high-speed processing uh, or transmit waveform generation. It can do both the thing. Uh, it has DAC and ADC. It has IO. Uh, IFLO module uh, connected to millimeter wave uh, transmit receive heads and then horn antenna. Uh, the uh, ADC and DAC here is high resolution and high speed as you can see and it is fully programmable because of the FPGA included. Then we convert the SISO into MIMO setup. Um, we synthesize it by moving the transmit antenna on a slider using a stepper motor to collect the received signals with multiple transmit receive interspacing for communication and radar receivers simultaneously. The interspacing distance between any two consecutive transmit locations is kept less than or equal to half of the carrier wavelength to avoid any grating loads. We perform indoor uh, experiments to characterize the radar performance using corner reflector. This is the software overview. Uh, the antenna spacing here we kept is 1.7 mm with 86 steps. As we know, the smaller the inter distance, the better the beam forming shape. The number of locations of the transmit uh, on the slider uh, dictates the aperture length of the synthetic antenna, the resolution in the angle domain, and the far field distance. For each transmit location, the transmitter sends several sequences and then wait to receive echoes for a predefined time interval before moving on to the next step. So here you can see this is the mth phase center of the synthesized M element transmit antenna array. Due to the time domain channel reciprocity, the channel obtained using multiple transmit locations and a fixed receive location will equivalently represent the channel that could have been obtained using multiple receive locations and a fixed antenna location. Then we have this receiver where you have a horn antenna connected to uh, the gain control. Then we decimate and do receive pulse shaping, capture the received signals with uh, pre-processing. Um, that that uh, includes like uh, averaging, this is optional pre-processing, like averaging over multiple waveforms or uh, performing real-time channel estimation. And then we save the data for offline processing. Uh, we take this offline data and perform low resolution ADC emulations and then apply uh, channel estimation uh, algorithms in the range angle domain. So you can see this is fully digital waveform generation and processing using high speed baseband FPGAs. In this paper, we use our SIMO so, uh, joint communication radar testbed for static joint communication and radar testing. This testbed, however, can be extended for dynamic scenarios using smaller time intervals between steps and enhanced processing, such as used in inverse synthetic aperture radar. Now, here we see the algorithm for generalized approximate message passing, which is a nonlinear algorithm uh, for quantized. Uh, uh, received signals to estimate the uh, joint communication radar channel coefficients in the range angle domain. This is a recursive approach that breaks the entire estimation problem into uh, scalar uh, estimation uh, steps of input step denoising and output step residual. Here we uh, use Bernoulli uh, Gaussian mixture model to exploit uh, sparse reconstruction. The hyperparameters used in GAMP, uh, like sparsity level, actually depends on the testing scenario and it impacts the ranging uh, uh, radar imaging performance, such as uh, false uh, alarms or uh, probability of detection. Advanced GAMP post processing uh, that exploits sparsity in the millimeter wave channel is uh, used uh, in our experiments. Now we'll look at the results uh, where we did indoor testing uh, using the corner reflector. 
uh, we placed it uh, near 3.223 uh, meter. Um, and uh, so it was placed at 3.216 meter. And here we can see it is at 3.223 meter. Uh, the angle was uh, 30 degree. And here we see it is at 31 degree. So it uh, shows the high resolution capability of our test bed. Uh, we also see at 4.9 meter the wall reflection with some multipaths, and this is the self interference, which has been mitigated using directive transmit antenna. Uh, you can see the gap has much better performance with uh, uh, less uh, side lobes, and uh, it has up to 50 dB dynamic range. Then this shows the radar image uh, using 1 bit ADC and gap processing. Uh, you can see the corner reflector is detected without any false alarms. The dynamic range here is 35 dB, which can be extended by increasing number of antennas or training sequence length or using transmit beam forming with multiple uh, DACs. So you can see the uh, radar channel estimated using 1 bit ADC is close to the 12 bit ADC one. To conclude, we uh, developed a low complexity proof of concept platform for a fully digital joint communication radar sounding test pad with SIMO functionality and low resolution ADCs per RF chain at 73 gigahertz with two gigahertz bandwidth. For precise radar performance evaluation, we conducted experiments using our joint communication radar measurement platform and a corner reflector in the indoor setting. Experiments result uh, showed that the radar imaging estimated using 1-bit ADC emulation and GAM processing uh, performed similar to the 12-bit ADC one. The results in this paper demonstrated the first millimeter wave proof of concept for high resolution wideband MIMO radar with high speed, low resolution ADCs. These are some of the future extensions in our com upcoming paper, like uh, comparison with traditional radars, uh, low complexity joint communication radar proof of concept, transmit beam forming using low resolution DACs, um, testing with multiple targets, uh, and, and like outdoor testing. So uh, for these, you can refer to these papers and websites. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions if you have.